Okay, this is fun. Dumpster diver <laughs> takes aim at Starbucks after finding unopened food, coffee beans, and unused cups in trash bags. Uh-oh. You know, I appreciate this person for publicly staying, stating that she is a dumpster diver. Uh, a dumpster diver has claimed she discovered tons of unexpired packaged food in Starbucks trash bags. Anna Sachs, who goes by the handle The Trash Walker, on Instagram and TikTok has been recording her trash walks. Okay. <gasps> She's in Manhattan. I must find her. I would love to join her. I used to go through... Um, there were, I used to live by a bagelry in Williamsburg and, uh, they would throw out like huge garbage bags full of bagels. And I always knew like where to go. And sometimes me and a couple friends would just like raccoons open the bag and take bagels out <laughs> and eat them. And they were still fine. And look, I'm fine. Uh, okay, so she roams Manhattan streets in her puncture-proof gloves and sifts through garbage bags since she's been doing this since 2018. So as you can tell this is not a pandemic hobby, okay? She's been doing this since 2018. Her most recent video has racked up more than 2.7 million views so far and shows mountains of garbage bags filled to the brim with unopened food, coffee beans, and unused cups outside of what she claims is a New York City Starbucks. Yeah, I, I'm surprised because... Uh, I've bought food from Starbucks that, oh, you're like, oh, this is going to be expiring tomorrow. She took to TikTok to document the, the moment her spidey trash bag senses went off. Why does my nose itch so much? At a now permanently closed shop revealing all of the items that were allegedly thrown out that could have been donated. Oh, so a Starbucks was closing and instead of, well, you can't blame the employees because they're just doing what they're told. And like if they don't <clears throat> have the channels, I don't know. I guess you could you have taken initiative and be like, we have all this food and just call <clears throat> some places up. I guess you could. There she is. Oh, my God. Why do we look alike? That's not good. <laughs> uh, me and the trash worker should team up. I have hoop earrings. Look at all this. <gasps> not the egg bites. Oh my God. That's what I get. So there's egg bites here. Croissants. Bagels. Ooh, individually wrapped even. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. Should we look at the gallery? Do we dare? Oh, my God. And everything bagel. Look, just cups. They're just throwing out the cups. That's crazy. You could, Those you could definitely donate to a soup kitchen or I don't know. But then does Starbucks not want to look like it's associating with a soup kitchen? I don't know what the rules are. Brownies and croissants, bagels. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, these are bacon gruyere egg bites. This is my go-to. This is my go-to at Starbucks. They're so good because these have the most protein of any of the egg bites uh, at Starbucks. My goodness, the biscotti. Beans, just beans. Oh, these aren't grounds. These are beans. Oh, someone's like, I used to work at a Starbucks. We would throw so much trash out at the end of the day. Okay. How do I make this go away? Wow. Oh, no. Here it goes. I want to see her TikTok. Trash walker. Wow. Okay. She's like... She's got multiple articles. Wow, look at all the cups. <clears throat> so this used to be a Starbucks on the Upper West Side. It's closed. My spidey trash bag senses were tingling. Anna said as she dug through the garbage, the dumpster diver showed a bag filled with unopened packaged Starbucks egg bites that were still cold. 
in the video, she shows a croissant that lists an expiration date of October 23. All right. Well, I wouldn't trust a croissant that <clears throat> is going to last till October. It's probably full of preservatives. Uh, she also showed footage of an entire bag filled with coffee grounds. Okay, a trash bag of unused cups. I think this is why we need to have legislation for store closing because this entire trash bag shouldn't happen, she said as she showed a bag filled with unused Starbucks paper and plastic cups. She claimed the other trash bags were filled with napkins, gift cards, croissants, tea, brownie. The, the employees are probably just told to throw every single thing out. Anna accused Starbucks of being wasteful. But if it were me, man, I love to hoard. I would have taken the whole thing home and just given it, given them out to friends. There's a church across the street from the Starbucks, and they probably would have taken everything. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Starbucks need to recognize when they close stores. This wastefulness is not acceptable. Anna had previously called out the coffee giant for food waste back in 2021. If I happened upon a trash bag full of cold egg bites, mm -hmm, yes, I would take them. If they were like, you know, melting in the sun, no. Wow, all the beans. Starbucks beans. Wow, a whole bag. Damn. Yeah, I would fill up a couple Tupperwares, take home some coffee. Oh, here it is. Here's your TikTok. I wonder where this is on the Upper West Side. Wow. Maybe they leave them kind of there for the homeless people to take. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, she took these. She took some of the eggs. Okay. All right, she took the egg bites. That's good. Yeah, freeze those little Bettys. Those will keep. Wow. Oh, I just want to put my hand through that. I don't know why it, <laughs> that looks so satisfying. All the cups. Damn. What do you think, guys? Would you take the stuff? I mean, you don't want to become a hoarder. There's a fine line between reduce, reuse, recycle, and hoarding. What would you guys do? I uh, I don't love to hoard. I just um, I know I know who I am, and uh, I know I come from a long line of hoarders. Not to the point where, like, you can't get in a room, but I definitely uh, hang on to stuff way, way longer than I need to. I hang on to stuff I don't use. And uh, when you're kind of raised with, a, like, a poor person mentality, you when you see, a, like, a lot of something, you're like, oh, I need to take all this because I don't know when I'm going to see this much of this stuff again. That's why I get excited at sales. I'm like, oh, my God, there's never going to be another sale again. I must act quickly. So I would take this whole thing home. Whew. Interesting. You would take the, the biscottis last, would last forever. Accidental seller, BRB, gonna write shameless gay manatee fanfics now. Oh, she's eating the egg bites. Oh my God. She's eating it. Oh, she went to Pret. Okay, she goes to all different restaurants and stores. In 2016, Starbucks promised to donate 100% of its unsold food that it was still safe to eat uh, to other locations. According to USA Today, the coffee chain estimated that it would reach 100% donation rate by 2021. I, yeah, it looks like that's a load of bullshit. By 2020, only 60% of the locations were participating, the New York Post said. A spokesperson for Starbucks told Daily Mail that what was depicted in Anna's video is an isolated situation. That's so easy to say that. In this video, Starbucks can confirm that the food picture was no longer deemed safe to transfer or donate per food donation standards and per policy were required to discard. The Starbucks food share program was available at this store 
and in partnership with Feeding America, regular food donations went to the food bank. Okay. They're coping. Our partner-driven food share program is backed by research and quality assurance testing to ensure Starbucks is safely donating nourishing ready-to-eat meals to people who struggle with hunger. Okay, so they're saying it was not uh, appropriate to donate. Such as unopened or non-damaged packaged foods, ready-to-eat products. It looked like all this stuff was ready to go, though. I think they just were lazy and like, fuck it, we're throwing it out. Despite the food in Anna's video being unopened, the spokesperson remained adamant the food thrown away didn't meet the food safety regulations. Well, can they say why? Speaking on the coffee uh, giant's food sharing program, they noted Starbucks food share program is available at all company operated stores in the U.S. and Canada. Okay, so this is like more corporate jargon. In every company owned store in the U.S. or Canada, our standard nightly store closing guide includes instructions to prepare all approved uh, to donate food or food share. When a company owned store in the U S or Canada relocates, our policy is that all product that is transferable should be transferred to a local. Yeah. It just looks like they didn't do that because maybe there isn't one nearby, but I also think this is just their full of shit. Wow. Okay, and then, of course, they talk about how much they have donated to make it look better. Oh, look, Starbucks has donated 4 million pounds of food or 3.5 million meals. Okay, at Starbucks, our goal is that we don't care about your goals. We're just like, look at what you did. Look at what you did, you little jerk. Our goal is to donate 100% of approved to donate food. Um they want to reduce waste by 50% uh, by 2030. Ugh. Everyone's got an agenda for 2030. Okay, more corporate jargon. They've donated so many million meals. This is shocking. I used to work at Starbucks. We would toss so much food away at the end of the day. I would take as much home as I could because it, it was insane. God, this is depressing. Thanks for the work you do. Yeah. I think they're just being lazy. I think they're, they inflate their numbers. And I think a lot of the food wasn't expired, but they just were like, eh, <laughs> just throw it out. Wow. Well, if you're hungry, guys, you know to just hang around a Starbucks and go through the bags and see what you find. In fact, that's what I want to do. Oh, my God. Young Pei Chang. How generous. Thank you for the 50. Thank you for the pink boy, as uh, my buddy Camelot would say. That girl clearly hasn't worked retail ever. Even gas stations will toss not yet expired bread and milk out as soon as the vendors bring in new stuff. Shelf space is worth more than food. They can't donate it, and they lose money if they could. Okay. Maybe they just make... Maybe they just make so much. They just didn't have the room to keep all of it. Or maybe by the time they they send it to a new store, it would be close to expired. I don't know. I don't know. I don't pretend to know. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. God, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.